Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and in this video I wanted to talk about pool filter sand. We recently did a video on our favorite sands. I'll put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. And a lot of people commented on how much they like pool filter sand and wanted to know why we didn't recommend pool filter sand in that video. So in this video we're going to talk about why that is. I hope you enjoy it. So we've done videos on substrate before. In fact, one of our most popular videos, it's an older video, was talking about how to choose the right substrate for your aquarium. I'm gonna put that in the description below as well. Today, we're strictly gonna focus on pool filter sand. We're gonna talk about the advantages and the disadvantages. I hope you find it useful. So first thing, the advantages. I think the number one advantage and the reason why people really like to use it is the cost. You can get a 50 pound bag. Now hold on, I will demonstrate what that looks like. Ugh, this thing. This is a 50 pound bag of sand and this at our local store cost $7. So this thing here, pool filter sand, seven bucks. That is a great deal when you consider that most substrates are probably gonna cost somewhere around $1 per pound. It doesn't matter if you're talking about sand or gravel. I'm not talking about specialty substrates, but normally if you're going to buy store-bought big box gravel or sand, you're looking at a dollar per pound for aquarium substrate. This at seven bucks for 50 pounds is significantly cheaper. Now I'm going to take you around the fish room. I'm going to show you some tanks where we still use pool filter sand. There's about five of them. Besides the fact that it's really cheap, I think the other nice thing is the color. The color looks relatively natural. You usually get a light tan. You're going to have to look at the specific pool filter sand to see what it is you are getting. Once you get beyond the price and the color, there are some significant disadvantages that you're going to want to consider before you run out and buy this 50 pound bag that only costs $7. First thing, this stuff absolutely needs to be cleaned before you put it in your fish tank. Now, for us, with a lot of the aquarium sands and gravels, we really don't spend a lot of time rinsing that or cleaning it off before it goes in a tank. And we haven't had an issue, no cloudiness, no magical fish death or anything like that. So we really don't do a lot of prep before we put aquarium gravel or aquarium sand in our tanks. But with pool filter sand, it can be rather labor intensive. And part of this depends on the brand of pool filter sand you buy. And you need to understand there are many different brands and they're going to have different properties. So I think the first disadvantage is you're gonna be cleaning it. Usually the way that we do it is we dump the stuff in a five gallon bucket, we get a garden hose and we put the garden hose in the bucket and we really shove that garden hose into the sand itself and let all of that cloudiness come out and constantly dump out that bucket. Usually that takes us somewhere per five gallon bucket that might take 5, 10, 15 minutes to really make sure that it's clean. Second thing, you are limited in the colors that you choose. Now, strictly speaking about pool filter sand, you're really just kind of limited to somewhere in that light tan sort of color. Now, yes, you can get the black diamond sand, which is a sand blasting sand that's going to be black. But when it comes to strictly pool filter sand, you're going to be very limited in the colors. That's unlike what you'd see with a lot of the store-bought sands where you can have brown, you can have white, you can have various shades of tan. There are some that kind of like a black and white sort of cichlid mix to it, which is kind of cool. So color-wise, you are going to be limited. Now in our fish room, I've already mentioned, we have five tanks with pool filter sand, but when we first started building out this side, almost all the tanks that contained sand were pool filter sand. I'd have to go back and check exactly, but there were probably at least 12 to 15 tanks that had pool filter sand. And since that time, we have reduced that number. And the reason for that is every time we redo a tank, the pool filter sand comes out. It doesn't get replaced. Why is that? After all, it is so super cheap. Well, I found some issues with at least the pool filter stands that we've been using that I just couldn't live with. One. The grain size, at least for the pool filter sand brands that we have purchased, have been significantly smaller than the aquarium sands that we have purchased. What that means is it becomes a little bit more difficult to maintain that sand. What I like about the aquarium sand is I can put a gravel vac right into it and I'm not sucking the sand out of the tank. We cannot do that with the pool filter sands that we have purchased. Again, they're gonna be a little bit different depending on the brand that you purchase, but at least for the brands that we have purchased, that has not been possible. The second issue and the most important one for us, unless we have a tank where the fish are constantly sifting through the sand or digging it or moving it, 
we found that a lot of detritus clumps up in that sand and once that happens it is impossible to get that sand to look neat or clean or anything even remotely close to that. So what we've found is that it's more prone to algae accumulation, more prone to detritus clumping up within the sand, and that is one of the number one reasons why we have pulled that out of our tanks, because with the aquarium sands, we have not had that problem. Now, obviously, we've got a couple tanks where that has not been an issue, and that's mostly because the cichlids there are constantly re-stirring up that sand and moving it around. The next thing you're going to want to think about, and that is sand getting into the water column and then winding up in the intakes of your filters, and especially if you've got hang on the back filters, those impellers stopping because they start to get gummed up with sand. Now, easy way to solve that, use an intake sponge on your filter. That can solve that problem, but short of that, the lighter the sand, the smaller the grain size, the more likely that sand is going to get into your filter at some point without an intake filter sponge on your aquarium. So what does the future hold for us and a pool filter sand? I don't think we're going to be using it all that much. I think as we continue to redo some of the tanks that have pool filter sand, that stuff is going to come out for the reasons I've mentioned. All right, well, I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. If you've used pool filter sand before, did you have good luck with it, bad luck with it? Again, so much of what we're talking about is really dependent upon the brands that I have used. Perhaps you've used a different brand from a different store that worked really well. Would love to hear from you. If you want more information, check out this video here. This is where I did a comparison on lots of different types of substrates. It's an older video, but the information is pretty good. And down here, we talk about how to maintain a fish tank with sand that I think can be pretty helpful. So check out those videos. I hope you found this one useful. And if you did, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.